Hey, good evening Facebook. Uh, welcome uh, to tonight's post for Media Theology. And you'll see I've called this one the Media Theology Toolkit. Um, and you might have noticed, you may not, but I hashtagged it with ebook. And that's because um, something I have been working on in the background, I've been working on it for a while now, um, is a free ebook that I'm going to put out um, called exactly that, the Media Theology Toolkit. Um, so what I wanted to do tonight is introduce that. Um, and share a little bit about what it's going to cover. And then across the next few nights, um, I may break it up a little bit with different posts, depending on what grabs me. Um, but yeah, what I'll try and do is, is sort of cover off what's going to be in that book, what's the purpose of that book, why it exists, and how you might use it uh, in the ministry settings that you're involved in. So essentially at its heart, the, the Media Theology Toolkit is about adapting what I did uh, when I did my uh, master's studies uh, to be a useful tool for people in ministry. So when I did those studies, I looked at um, how for, you, you probably noticed sort of towards the end of the 2000s, uh, end of the 1990s and into the 2000s, there was like this explosion of video added to um, Bible study resources that you could you could buy it or, or purchase or whatever to, to run a small group Bible study. Um, and so for my um, research, I questioned that. I kind of went like, why, why is it that that's happened? Like, is this, is this some sort of deliberate thing that's happened or is this something that we've just taken on because we can? So during that study, that's what's kind of um, led to this whole media theology uh, area and, and what I talk about and what I share about. That's what's informed it, um, continues to inform it as I um, dig around in that area. But anyway, what, what I did is I came up with a way to look at this uh, from a, with a kind of tool, and that's what I'm now calling my media theology toolkit. And so what's in this toolkit are three main categories that I believe are very, uh, are almost always part of what we are about and what we do when we're in ministry and in the church. And so the idea of this toolkit is to be able to try and evaluate and think about um, what, what I call and refer to as lines of tension, because it's not about saying this is right or this is wrong, but it's about trying to, I guess, get a sense of maybe some of the biases as to why we might introduce a particular way of doing something or introduce a new um, technology into that space or those kind of things. Um, it allows us to kind of